Nagaland has been given the Silver Cross Country Championship the previous year after the silver medalist failed what was called doping verification. The Nagaland Athletics Association conducted its annual general meeting on Saturday in Kohima. The president of the association, Abu Meta, addressed the September 2 press conference. The NAA announced that the girls who won the bronze in the Women's Cross Country Championship has been elevated to silver. The one who won silver did not clear verification, said Meta. The ones who got silver did not clear and did not get ratified, he said. Today, the certificates which were sent by the AFI were given to the athletes who now have won the silver medal, he said. Today, uh, we had the annual general meeting of the Nagaland Athletic Association. And uh, I want to take this opportunity to highlight some of the various activities that have been undertaken and some of the achievements that have been uh, achieved by the athletics fraternity here in Nagaland before I go into the details. Uh, you are aware that Nagaland Athletic Association is affiliated to the Indian uh, Athletic Federation of India. Athletic Federation of India is one of the oldest associations in the country, sports associations, and also one of the largest sports movements in the world. Likewise, the Nagaland Athletic Association is one of the oldest associations in Nagaland. And in the past few years, we have been uh, performing, I would say, quite well. Our athletes have been doing <clears throat> very well. We hosted Nagaland's first ever international meet in the form of the South Asian Cross Country Championships. We also uh, hosted the 56th National Cross Country Championships together with that. Prior to that, we had national level coaching camp, we had state trials, we had state cross country championship and we brought some of India's best long distance coaches to train our athletes for that championship. The icing on the cake, a very successful event, all countries of South Asia participating. But the icing on the cake of that event was Nagaland winning the bronze medal in the women's team championship, you would remember. There is a process of verifying and ratification of all national results in the Athletic Federation. Now, all national events, there is a dope test done by National Anti-Doping Agency. And only after the dope test come in, the results are ratified. Likewise, the timings of all athletic events are ratified by the national executive body. Then they are made official. So, likewise, even the cross-country championship which happened in Nagaland needs ratification of anti-doping agency and ratification of national executive to be made official. I am happy, happy to announce that uh, our girls who won bronze medal in the team, women's team championship at the cross country championship have been elevated to silver medal because the ones who got silver did not clear, did not get ratified. So Nagaland has been elevated to silver medal. So today at the AGM, the certificates which were sent by AFI were given to the athletes who won that silver medal. That photo can be shared with you later. That is one good news. Also, you are aware that in the recently held uh, last edition of Northeast Olympic Games, Nagaland Athletics won the maximum number of medals for Nagaland. 20 23 medals we won. Nagaland had won a total of 80 medals. Athletics alone won 23 medals, including best athlete in men and best athlete women under 20. For that championship also, we had conducted a national level camp by high performance coaches, international athletes, given by Athletic Federation of India and we had an intensive coaching camp that was held here in Kohima. 
after which we participated in the Shillong meet and we could win so many medals. So what I'm trying to say is, all these good performances that we have achieved is on the back of intensive camps and emphasis we have given on athlete development. Here I want to thank the uh, Athletic Federation of India for the wholehearted support that they have given us. Not only in the coaching of athletes, but we have also conducted under AFI a workshop and seminar and training program for technical officials here in Kohima by resource persons from AFI. Exam was conducted here in Kohima and all those who passed the exam, they have received their certificates. Since then, every national event, every Hello India event, including the national games, technical officials from Nagaland have gone and officiated. This has never happened in the past, but presently we are able to create those opportunities for our technical officials. In other matters, the NA is said to be conducting more workshops and seminars for coaches and technical officials across the state to develop the ecosystem and foundation to develop youngsters. Without coaches and tech officials, the state cannot develop champions for the future, he said. Also, it was informed that the NAA has been awarded the Best Performing Sports Association of States based on medals and performance the previous year. There are more plans for Gundak for more such events, such as more championships, even regional and international events, to Nagaland to host in the future, Meta said. Abu Meta has been re-elected as president of the association. It was informed that about 30% of the office bearers are women. After the conclusion of the Asian Games, I am happy to announce that we will be conducting more such workshops and seminars, not only for technical officials, but also for coaches. Our aim is to produce dozens of coaches, dozens of technical officials across the state so that we develop an ecosystem and a foundation that can develop youngsters. Without technical officials, without coaches everywhere, we cannot produce champions for the future. That is the aim and we have started that process. We already have about 50 technical officials, I'm not too sure about the figure, but about 50, who are certified by AFI, and they will get further training. We will add to the numbers, and we invite all those who are interested to take this course, be it physical education teachers, be it former athletes, retired sports persons, coaches from other disciplines, technical officials from other disciplines, they're all welcome to come and take this workshop, and the exam will be here, here, held here in Kohima and, you know, they can get the opportunity to officiate. We are again grateful to AFI for taking technical officials from Nagaland for every regional national meet that is taking place, especially in Kelo India Games. Athletic Federation of India has also uh, given us full faith and confidence in the activities that we have taken up. Uh, I would personally like to uh, thank AFI leadership for appointing me as the chairman of the uh, mountain running committee, the national mountain running committee, and also delegating me for a number of responsibilities representing the country. Uh, I went as team leader for world under 20 uh, athletic championships in Kenya. I also represented the country in the uh, uh, world mountain running congress in Chiang Mai in Thailand. and. We continue to work together as one team and AFI is giving us full support and full assistance in all our activities. Even today, in the annual general meeting, observer from AFI came, attended and he has returned back. We have conducted several events including inter-district competition, uh, javelin com uh, state level javelin competition, kids athletics, and also uh, coaching camps and catch them young programs in collaboration with the sports department. I will be giving you a, a media kit uh, which uh, highlights the uh, achievements and initiatives of uh, the athletics, Nagaland Athletics. We are happy that uh, Nagaland Athletics was awarded 
as the best performing uh, sports association in the state by the Nagaland Olympic Association based on the medals that our athletes won and based on the performance uh, in the last year. We are grateful to our honorable chief minister for the mandate he gives us, the support he gives us. Uh, the cross-country championships which we had would not have happened if we had not had the support of the chief minister and the state government. And we are happy that the success of that event has proven to the world that Nagaland is capable of hosting big ticket events. And we are also plan to bring more events, more championships to Nagaland to host regional and if possible even international meets in the near future. We also had the uh, election of the excuse me, office. We also, we also had the election of the office bearers for a new term of Nagaland Athletics, which was declared results declared today by AFI Observer. So I will be giving you the list. So uh, the uh, new office bearers for the next uh, term. Uh, I'm happy and grateful to the Athletics Fraternity of uh, Nagaland for re-electing me as the uh, president for the next term. And those who will be working with me in the new uh, tenure are Senior Vice President, Mr. Kriyahutyo Tsira, who is on my left. He's a senior state coach and one of the uh, backbone of the association. Uh, we have two vice presidents, Ms. Jesebi Nyorvizo, and Mr. Wenye Konyak, the Honorary Secretary is Mr. Monsao Muli, Treasurer is Mr. Ningulia Nakro, Senior Joint Secretary is Mr. Purna Konyak, Joint Secretary is Mr. Asako Joseph, Joint Secretary is Mr. Mrs. C. Tongjen Tai, and Executive Member is Mrs. Krizo Tunyo. Also, Technical Committee Convener is Mr. Bitungo Kikon, Member Mr. Rongsen Meren, Member Mr. Nikotso Tunni, Media Committee Convener is Mr. Vikedio Linde, Co Convener is Mr. Asale Peseye, Development Committee Convener is Mr. Ketuluko Keditsu. World Athletics and AFI also have a policy that a majority of office bearers of our associations should be former sports persons, former athletes. World Athletics and AFI also have a policy to promote women office bearers in our sports bodies. So I am happy to announce that this new team, 90% of the office bearers are former sports persons and former athletes. 90% of these Nagaland athletics are former sports persons, former athletes, who have represented Nagaland at the national and regional level. Also, we have surpassed the target of 25% women representation, which the national body asked us to try to achieve that target. 30% of our office bearers are women, and all those women are all former athletes. So Nagaland Athletics is trying our best to promote women representation more, and also ensure that our office bearers are predominantly former athletes. And as I said, 90% former athletes, 30% women. And we will continue to promote them and strive towards their aspiration. Also, most of the former athletes who have now become office bearers have uh, NIS uh, degrees and qualification. They have uh, Bachelor of Education qualification and they are qualified in the field of sports to use, and we are happy to use those qualifications and their skills to bring into sports administration. You will be aware that we are also using a professional team of dedicated young professionals who manage our social media, the social media of Nagaland Athletics and Nagaland Olympic Association the traction and the footprint that we get is very good. And we are able to highlight all our activities in a very transparent manner. We are able to highlight the achievements of our sports persons. And all, you know, we are also able to connect through our social media with stakeholders, with their suggestions, their inputs, you know. So we are using 
social media in a positive manner and will continue to increase that footprint and that traction.